Hello viewers, welcome back to the Bug Out Bunker Kitchen. And I'd just like to say that I've now been working in television in all its forms, terrestrial broadcasting, YouTube, all these things for over 20 years. And I like to think in that time I've made some effort to produce reasonably highbrow content, you know, some science stuff, travel, history, cars, obviously. Um, the thing I'm remembered for is putting a piece of cheese on this counter and saying, cheese. That is my greatest work. And with that in mind, we've had a number of, uh, I was going to say letters, they're not letters, obviously they're messages from people who watched our last America versus Great Britain challenge, which was the hot dog versus the traditional British cafe sausage sandwich with brown sauce. And they said, yes, but what about American cheese and British cheese? Because it's an opportunity for me to open the fridge and say today we are looking at cheese versus cheese. We're going to make, uh, I say we, it's going to be Lucy Brown, who I'm going to invite in in a minute, a toasted cheese sandwich using uh, mature cheddar slices Again, industrial, government issue, cheese that the council would make if the council made cheese. Against the most famous American cheese, the only one that I know of that exists, which is Monterey Jack. Don't know anything about it beyond that. The ingredients are milk. There you go. So, uh, Lucy Brown, if you'd like to step in, as you are the expert on this, I can help you, but the commentary is yours. You have control. I mean, I'll start by saying I'm definitely not an expert in cheese because I hate it, but I'll try oh, you my don't best. Like oh, God. We start with bread. Wait. That'll be in that magic drawer where the bread lives. There Perfect. it is. It's amazing. You name any food stuff. Say one now. Say something that you think should be in this fridge. Hang on. Lure pack. No, lure pack's too obvious. Uh, pot noodle. Something else? Parsnips. Everything you need. Everything, I think. A little plastic tray for putting eggs in. What I really need for this recipe is some badly out of date squeezy mayonnaise. Oh, uh, no. There it is. I actually do need that, thank you. Oh, right, okay. Can I get some Lurpak as well, please? Um, what's Lurpak? Some spreadable butter, please. Invented in 1901. Thank you. There you are, 2,800 pounds worth of Lurpak. Perfect, so I think I've seen a recipe done before for this, and you just put mayo on the outside of the bread and then fry it in butter, then add the cheese, then add the bread again and flip it, which sounds weird, but should be good. Okay, are you going to do two simultaneously? I'm going to try, okay. but I think you might have to jump in and help me at some point. Okay. Um, You're going to need the grabbers. Yes. I think they are here. I wonder how many hours we filmed of just rifling through those drawers moronically. Can you prepare the cheese? Prepare the cheese? Well, yes, it's pre-prepared. It comes in slices. The American doesn't. The American cheese doesn't. You're quite right. Uh, the answer is no, because I can't. Yes. Okay. There's there is some cheese, sliced cheese. What? How would you like the Monterey Jack? Uh, I guess as similar to the cheddar as possible. That's going to be thin, quite tricky. Thin slices. How does your hob work? It's got one knob, Lucy. It's got two directions though. That one's a bit more challenging. Whoever brought that into the Bug Out Bunker kitchen threw the instruction book away immediately. Dude, that's very, look at that cheese. That's American cheese. It's very... Uh, Bouncy? Yeah. It's not straight either. What do you mean it's not straight? It's not square. It's curved. So, yeah. Yes, those sides are square. Does it yeah. matter? No. You hear that in Michelin styled restaurants everywhere, chefs having a tantrum because the cheese is a square. Right, you actually want to... As thin a slice as possible. Yep. I mean, we just want it to melt, so I guess thinner the easier. It's very strange 
I've never, um, I've had Monterey Jack cheese, obviously, because I've spent quite a lot of time in America, but I've never, I've never encountered it in its raw form. Is that enough, or would you like a bit more? Uh, you'll be trying it, so you're cool. Oh yeah, because you don't eat cheese. Correct. Because you're a bit strange. I can't think of another cheese, not that I'm an expert on cheese as it happens, I'm just an expert on saying cheese, but I can't think of another one that has quite that, not even, I'm going to cut the, am I allowed to cut the corner off and try it? Yeah. What's it like? You had to compare it to an English cheese or a British cheese. Hmm. I don't want to prejudice this item, but I'm going to say that American cheese, it's got its work cut out there. So a quick recap, because I wasn't really watching, you're frying mayonnaise smeared bread face down in butter. Yes, but this hob is a lot more powerful than this one, so yes. I think this is going to be ready sooner. It's that one takes a while to warm up. Which one do you want this to be, American or British? That one? Yeah. Let's start with American. Okay. We can probably put the cheese on. You put like, the cheese on that side? Yep, yeah, here. No butter? No. Nope. Just lay it on? Yep. We're frying it in butter, so I don't think it needs... Does it get flipped? Yes, once the oh. other bit goes on. Doesn't the cheese fall off? Is that enough cheese, or do you want a bit more cheese? Uh, maybe a tiny bit more there. Thus? So I'm not sure how it's going to melt, but the cheese should melt a bit like that before we then put the second slice on and then flip it and the cheese won't touch the pan. Well that cheese is never going to melt because the, well I suppose it could. What will happen is it will melt but in the process the underneath of the bread will burn. Well it's starting to smell of hot cheese. I'm, I don't know if American cheese would actually melt. It feels a little bit like... They put it on burgers. Yeah but it doesn't really, does it melt? I suppose it, yeah. It Too feels lovely. like that type of rubber hose in the EU specifically because it won't melt. And the bread's burning now though. Yes. <laughs> oh why am I doing this? Can you tell I'm not very averse to cooking? You're not very averse to cooking. I am quite averse to quite cooking. Averse. So... It's not burnt, it's well done. You're, you're making a burnt cheese sandwich. <laughs> and a raw one as well. I like burnt toast, as it turns out, so... Oh, good. How do you feel about raw toast? This, are you sure this not, is working? Because it's really not, not doing anything. Is the light on? Yeah. This is on its lowest setting. Maybe we just put it on stay warm mode while we focus on that one. Or... Switch them over. Yes. Or oh, just switch the pans over. <laughs> Why can't you do this? I'm so bad at it. Okay, can you put the British cheese on that, please? Yes, miss. One piece or two pieces? One, I think. One I, don't looks think like I don't think two will melt. I don't think we've got enough life left to consider two pieces of cheese. Do you want to, I know you don't like cheese, but do you want to try this? Because technically I don't think it is cheese, so you should be okay. No, thank you. No. It's very strange. <laughs> it's not true, by the way, that Monterey Jack is the only cheese that the Americans make. Of course, they would be very offended by me saying that. That was good. But it is a very... It's the, it's the sort of default American cheese, I think, rather than the way cheddar is for us. If you just say with cheese, generally we mean with some grated cheddar. If you said cheese and pickle sandwich, that would be grated cheddar, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe red lesser, but generally cheddar. And often with Americans, they say, do you want cheese with that? They mean jack cheese, as they often refer to it. I think these are both going to be failures. <laughs> well, I take back, well, the, the cheese does seem to be melting inside the sandwich. Yeah, but it's not sort of fully melting. burn the bread. I quite like it. You like it this level of burn? Yeah. It's the one food I like overdone is toast. So you said earlier on these were going to be toasted cheese sandwiches but they're actually fried. Grilled, grilled cheese. That's not a grill though, that's frying. That's definitely a frying pan. Even with my very limited knowledge of the kitchen, I know that that's a frying pan, okay, not fried, a grill or a toaster. <laughs> fried cheese sandwich. Maybe to make life easier, we should have just done raw cheese sandwich comparisons. That's probably done. Looks fairly melted. I don't have high hopes for it, but you'll be the judge. I guess we can tell them apart. Like that's clearly 
a yeah. different look into that one. Okay, I'm just gonna take a bit of a seat if you don't mind. Oh, it's oozing out. Oh yeah. So it has melted. Not the best utensils. How would you like them cut? Um, rectangularly, please. Who would have guessed? Do you know there is a good reason for cutting sandwiches rectangularly? Why? I've been debating this with Peter on social media. The problem with triangular sandwiches, although people imagine they're somehow more sophisticated, is they're actually harder to eat, because once you've bitten the corner off, you end up with a piece of sandwich too big to go in your face. Whereas the rectangular sandwich, which is what genuinely posh sandwiches are, is the same width all the way along. So you can go bang, 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 bang. I'm not going anywhere near that for at least a minute. Ah, okay, so you are. I thought you were just going to say I'm not going to eat it. No, I'm, I'm definitely going to eat it. Do a Lucy and refuse. You've wasted some cheese there. Just... See, it's it's set. It's like you could it's like you could mould small engineering components out of that, it's like a an ABS plastic or something. It's quite hot. I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> Well, that's always a great recommendation when the chef hands you some food and says, I wouldn't eat that. But enjoy. I must remember to get the people at my pub to say that when they serve food to people. There you go, mate, I wouldn't eat that. I can tell it's too hot. We'll just have to wait for... Okay. Shall I cut it in half again? <laughs> the mayonnaise does add a nice crisp to the outside, though, on the other one. More of a char on that. I am very fond of you deep down, Lucy, but I can honestly say that's crap. That's a really... Try it. Well, all that bit. Try that bit. No, it's cheese. Yeah, but it's not really cheese. It's you, You've rendered it something else. I will... So don't worry, it won't offend your cheese sensibilities because there's no cheese in it. There's a high chance that I will be sick. Oh, Will Dawes has arrived. Would you like to eat some cheese, Will? Come in. This is Will, everybody. Um, so that's, that's Jack cheese. It's quite burnt. Yeah, it's okay though. Not a fan. Look at the size of the bite you took. Look. She's going to collapse in a minute. But I tried some. A gerbil some. Would, would have a bigger bite than that. I know it's delicious, isn't it? I quite like the burnt toast. Hmm, burnt toast is nice, but... The cheese is a bit irrelevant. Hmm. You've even managed to make the cheddar taste of nothing. So the conclusion here is I just shouldn't cook. Oh. That was a bit better. Me a bit. That's like saying, I don't know, diarrhoea is slightly better than dysentery. It is, technically. I know what you did wrong, actually, Lucy, now I think about it. What you should have done, with the jack cheese sandwich especially, is added American mustard, which saves everything. But also allows me to make a very convenient and not at all contrived plug for my new gin, you wouldn't mind handing me, there's a bottle over there, which is American Mustard, the spirit of America. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, link to sales of American Mustard gin in the US and Europe are in the description. Thank you for watching. And thank you for watching. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, <laughs> yeah, anything really. Smear that bit. Yeah, I'll do it on my bit as well. Let's smear that around with the spreader outer. There, you can tell, you know that's going to be better. A huge improvement. Oh, it's unbelievable. So which is best? American. Mm. Well, if I cooked, I reckon you clear up. Is that fair? No. Okay. I've got to go and supervise mm. something. I've got to go and supervise him. Sure. Mm.